You've been watering your plants, you've given them light, you've done everything right. But they still look tired, wilted, maybe even stunted. So what's going on? Well, it might not just be water. Today we are diving into a topic that gets way too little attention. Plant stress. What causes it, what it looks like, and how you can actually fix it. Welcome back to Fresh K-Town. When we think of stress, we usually think of humans. But plants? They get stressed too. And for them, stress can be deadly. Plant stress is any condition that disrupts a plant's normal function. It can come from abiotic, so non-living sources, like heat, drought or salty soil, or from biotic or living sources, like pests or disease. And the effect? Slower growth, lower yields and sometimes total collapse. Let's break this down into the most common plant stress types and their typical symptoms. Drought stress. Not enough water. Obvious? Sure. But it's not just wilting. Drought hits photosynthesis, nutrient transport and overall energy levels in the plant. Typical symptoms include drooping leaves, leaf rolling and chlorosis, so the yellowing of leaves. Heat stress. Too much sun, too long. Leaves scorch, metabolism slows and in worst cases the plant just shuts down. Symptoms can include leaf burn, sun scald and inhibited growth. Salinity stress. Especially in reused or over fertilized soils. High salinity blocks water uptake and causes nutrient imbalances. Look for signs like leaf tip burn, chlorosis and stunted growth. Pest pressure. Insects, fungi or even bacteria eating away at leaf area, stem strength and root systems. Symptoms vary a lot for this one, but can include holes in leaves, discolored spots and wilting. But these aren't the only ones. Plants can also get stressed by wind, nutrient imbalances, mechanical damage and many more. Pretty much anything that pushes a plant too far outside of its comfort zone can cause stress. Luckily, most plants will tell you when something's wrong. You just have to know what to look for. As mentioned before, common signs of stress include wilting or drooping leaves, often a sign of drought or overwatering, yellowing or browning at the edges, which can indicate nutrient deficiencies or salt stress, stunted growth, possibly due to heat stress or root damage, leaf scorch or strange spotting, often a result of pest pressure or sunburn. And for more detailed insights, there are tools that can help. Moisture sensors can tell you if the soil is dry, devices like the PolyPen can actually measure spectral indices to detect general plant stress before it becomes visible, and an EC meter can be used to measure soluble ions to check for nutrient imbalances or salt accumulation. So now that we know what stresses plants out, how do we help them recover? Water better. Not more, better. Water deeply and early in the day, avoid shallow frequent watering. And pro tip when watering, water a bit at first, let it sink in and then water in the rest a couple minutes later. Shade smartly. If heat is the problem, use shade cloths or companion planting to reduce sun stress. Amend your soil. If salt or nutrient imbalance is the issue, improve drainage, add organic matter or balance fertilizers. Control pests early. Use traps, netting or beneficial insects to manage infestations before they get out of control. And finally, don't beat yourself up. Even professional growers see stress plants now and then. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but learning to read the signs and respond, 
that makes all the difference. So next time your plants start looking a little off, take a step back. It might not just be water, it might be some kind of other stress. And if you catch it early, you can often turn things around. And maybe your plants will even come out stronger. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe for more plant science and gardening tips and let me know in the comments what your biggest plant problem has been so far. And as always, keep on growing. Peace.